call the 23rd meeting of the 2013-2014 Common Council to order. Will the clerk please read the quote for the meeting. Thank you, Mayor. Giving credit where credit is due is a very rewarding habit to form. Its rewards are inestimable. Thank you very much. Next, would the clerk please call the roll? Twelve present. Alderman Lassard and Alderman Carlson are excused. Alderman Versi and Matichek are not. Next, will uh, please stand and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next item on the agenda is the approval of minutes from our last meeting. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to approve. Second. It's been, it's been, been made, uh, the minutes are before us for any discussion. Is there any discussion on the minutes? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? 12 ayes. Next, we'll go on to council appointments. City Attorney. stated today, I hereby submit the following appointment for your consideration. Sean Hurley to be considered for appointment to the Sustainable Sheboygan Task Force to fill the unexpired term of Josh Eldridge, whose term expires 4-28-2014, signed by the mayor. And uh, Randy Schwer to be considered for appointment to the Mayor's International Committee to fill the unexpired term of Susan Kirshner, whose term expires 4-28-2014, also signed by the mayor. Alderman Hammond. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. First off, I'd uh, make a motion to suspend. Second. Um, uh, is there, um, the suspension is before us. Uh, do we need to vote or just, all those in favor of suspension, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes under suspension. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, because there's meetings coming up, that's why we're suspending. And so I would uh, make a motion to confirm both appointments. Second. Thank you for that motion and second. Those appointments are before us. Is there any discussion on them? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? 12 ayes. And City Attorney, we have one additional one. Right, and for, on confirmation of appointments, uh, Rebecca Clark to be considered for appointment to the Sustainable Sheboygan Task Force to fill the unexpired term of Vicki Hall, representative from Environmental Group, whose term expires 4-28-2014, signed by the Mayor. Thank you, Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Again, move to confirm. Second. Moved and second to confirm the last appointment. Any discussion? If not, will the clerk please call the roll? 12 ayes. <clears throat> Next, we'll move on to the public forum. City Clerk. Yes, this evening we have two on public forum. First one would be Kyle Blindauer. Is Kyle here? Yes. Kyle, could you come up to the front, please? <clears throat> Kyle, I need your home address, please. 2204 Cooper Avenue. Cooper. And you will have five minutes, sir. Okay. Um, I'm here to discuss the, she um, the Sheboygan Rail Trail project. Um, it was supposed to be up for vote in the Common Council this week, but that got held um, at the Department of Department Works um, meeting last Tuesday. Uh, currently, it will be on vote tomorrow in the uh, Marine Marina um, Parks and Forestry Commission. It will be coming back here eventually, so I figured tonight's as good night as any to discuss it. Um, I have a little bit of history I can pass around to the members. They can um, read that, and then I'm just here to educate you on the vote. Um, I'm I was concerned when I heard that they're considering naming it the Sheboygan Trail. I thought that was a um, not really thought out. Um, the railroad helped build the city, um, and I think that we should name it something, the trail, something r related to the railroad to um, give it some justification. Um, like I said, I have a history I can pass out, and then you guys, 
you can read that. If you want to just leave that with the clerk, we'll distribute it later then, Kyle. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Tim. <coughs> and next on the list would be Colin Catchell. You want to pull the mic up a little bit? People are having a hard time hearing, so you need to talk right into the mic. All right, Colin Ketchell, 321 Bluff Avenue. Okay, you may have five minutes. Okay. Um, I know that the topic of concern tonight is the new Midlake management of the Wildwood Softball, Softball Park. They are asking for the same thing that the Army Foundation is. This is the chance to prove themselves with a one-year lease. We are asking for the same thing, but for only nine months. The Armory Foundation asked the council to approve our request that we submitted so that we can have a direct dialogue with Public Works next Tuesday and hopefully get started preserving, improving, and providing enjoyment at one of Sheboygan's most beloved buildings. Our softball season starts now, and we need you to help jumpstart our season so we can prove to you that the Armory Foundation represents all the citizens and visitors of Sheboygan and will help improve the quality of life in our downtown district. Thank you. Thank you, Colin. That's it for public forum. Thank you. Next, we'll move on to a presentation of the Next Door Neighborhood Network Program presented by City Development, Chad Pelichek. So while Dave's tidying that up, I'll just give you a little introduction. What we're going to talk about tonight is a new online private social networking system called Nextdoor that the city has partnered with out of a company in San Francisco. Um, there's been some email correspondence to department heads and older persons on this, but um, what we wanted to do tonight is go through a, a quick PowerPoint presentation and, and show the public what this tool is and how this would work for communication. This is very similar to uh, Facebook. The only difference with this is it's a secured private social um, and you have, there's a social networking site and you, in order to be a part of it, it's, the city's been divided up in the neighborhoods and in order to be a part of it, you need to, you need to either, it's, there's three different ways that you can sign up. It's either through phone, mail, or by putting your credit card number in and they verify your address that you actually live in that neighborhood. So what we what what it is is it's really um, a communication tool from really the city side of things, and we've been doing a lot of neighborhood meetings with the police department, planning department, and the Sheboygan Neighborhood Pride Group across the city for the last three years or so. Uh, this tool is really a kind of another means of it won't necessarily take over the neighborhood meetings, but it would be another communication tool for the neighbors to can talk about issues and happenings within their neighborhood. It is also is it working? It's also a means of communicating. Just get this up. It's also a means of communicating and awareness between the neighborhood members. So um, we we're looking at it from the city side of things as another tool of trying to communicate with uh, residents of this community. The, in the neighborhood, it's a communication tool between the residents themselves. Um, and they can talk about a number of things. It's all privately held um, as city government. We can't see any of that. We're just going to be using it as a means, whether it's the police department or the uh, DPW or just regular city administration pushing information <coughs> out there, similar to what we would do with a Twitter account um, on our website. Uh, so 
as you can see here, I'm not going to read through it, but there's three ways of being come a part of the uh, methods of being in the neighborhood. It's either it's either a postcard with a unique code sent to the home address, a phone call um, listed to re the registered home address, or like I said, a credit card billing. Um, what we've done is map the city out into neighborhoods and identified key people within those uh, neighborhoods. So we've done the first bullet point mapping the city, um, and we'll show that to you shortly. We've used the police neighborhoods um, as, a, as a tool for kind of breaking our, our, our entire city down into smaller neighborhoods. We've recruited members, um, and these are founding members. These are the first people in the neighborhoods that really are the, you know, the legendary people, if you want to say the founding members, that really start the dialogue in the neighborhood and kind of get their other neighbors on board to start the um, process. We've sent out emails and, and correspondence to about 850 to 1,000 contacts that we had on either the police department's contact list or the city uh, development's contact list and got uh, interested people from a number of neighborhoods to start this process. Uh, tomorrow we'll actually be going live with Nextdoor. There will be a press release going out about our partnership with Nextdoor and it's really uh, the phase of launching this to the entire city and allowing the city to start uh, posting information into these neighborhoods. So what we're looking for is if the, for example, if the Public Works Department has a uh, particular uh, garbage schedule that's behind uh, and they want to just notify a specific group of people within the city, we can do that. If there's a water main break or there's a road construction project happening in a neighborhood, we can just pick out a particular neighborhood and notify the neighbors in that uh, area versus the entire city. So what I wanted to do is um, just show you a minute video, if I can get this to open. This is, a, this is an introducing Nextdoor um, that's off their website and it kind of gives you a little bit more specific information as soon as this. Have you ever needed to borrow a ladder, find somewhere to mow your lawn, or learn what local road repairs can wrap up? There are so many ways our neighbors can help us, but these days most people don't know their neighbors or how best to contact them. It's difficult to ask for help and advice without being a bother. Nextdoor changes all that with free and private neighborhood websites that make it easy for neighbors to connect and talk about the issues that matter. It's an online place where you and your neighbors can ask questions, stay in the know, and exchange local help and advice. Here you can meet your neighbors, get recommendations for local services, and learn about neighborhood events. Whether you want to spread the word about a new park, Find an owner for that bookcase in your garage, or be alerted of recent crimes in your area, Nextdoor makes it easy to keep up with everything going on in your neighborhood. All recommendations are organized and archived, so next time you need a trusted dentist or electrician, you can find a great one in seconds. Nextdoor is a secure website where all members must verify that they live in the neighborhood. You can be confident that your communications stay within a trusted environment designed just for you and your neighbors. Getting started is easy. With just a few clicks, you can get up and running with Nextdoor for your neighborhood. As your neighbors join the website, you build a stronger and safer neighborhood. When neighbors start talking, everyone benefits. To get a Nextdoor website for your neighborhood, go to nextdoor.com. So, just go ahead. <clears throat> so this is kind of um, uh, this is an example of a neighborhood um, where you can see the different parcels, the colors that are in are red or are in this neighborhood. This is an example, but the the neighbors, the colors that are in red are are people that have joined this neighborhood. That's ho what we're hoping to get. This is really geared towards. We've got parcels, about 600 parcels in each neighborhood. Some neighborhoods are a little bit larger. Um, so we've kind of seen this as a communication tool, but this is really the <coughs> Sheboygan City. You can see um, all of the neighborhoods uh, that have been mapped out there. A uh, number of uh, areas have been kind of put together to make them a little bit larger, but the majority of them are neighborhoods that the police department has. We've currently, under the green, have 13 neighborhoods on the north side that have launched. Um, that means that they've got at least 10 members in the neighborhood and they're communicating on a on a daily basis as a private networking. Uh, 15 neighborhoods, the ones in gold or yellow, 
uh, those are neighbors that they, there's a founding member and there's, they don't have the 15 members yet, but they're working on it and every day neighbors are inviting neighbors and they're continuing to build that to get to 10 uh, mm -hmm. neighbors to be able to be in the launch category. And 28 under the red are unused. That means there hasn't been really any um, interest in those areas. And, and I, I think, you know, I, I'm, we're willing to work. Nancy uh, Marring in our office is a new employee. She's been working really hard on this and understands this. And if you live in a south side neighborhood and you have an interest in this, um, as you can see from the map, there is not a lot of uh, launch neighborhoods in that area. Um, so we would be willing to work with you in, you know, the south side area. The, obviously, the north side area has really taken off. We can see who's, we can see the number of members that are in it. We can't see who the participants are. We know who the founding member of that neighborhood is, and that's about all the information that the city sees. Um, we don't see anything on the private social networking that's happening um, that happens between neighbors, but it's, like I said, another communication tool. So tomorrow we're actually going to be announcing this partnership with Nextdoor and really opening this up. This is kind of a precursor, really opening this up to the entire um, community as a networking communication tool. Um, I've talked about it similar to Facebook, but it's more about verifying your addresses to participate. Um, and, you know, like I said, if, you've got a, if you live in a neighborhood and you're willing to come on and be part of it, I, we think it's another uh, great tool to kind of communicate. It's not going to take over neighborhood meetings, but it's kind of that in-between thing to keep talking about issues and things that might be happening um, within the neighborhood. A lot of people ask, well, how this is free. There's no cost to the city. There's no cost to the resident. And they ask, how do they do it? They, their business plan is to work with local businesses on advertising, um, just like a lot of other businesses do, and bring on some local advertising as part of this as we move forward. So uh, we'll you can get to it off the city's website, um, and then we're really just linked into nextdoor.com, um, and they'll bring on the local advertising. That's how they'll fund this. So we just wanted to kind of give everybody a, you know, an update of where it is. It's, it's been really an initiative of the mayor as another communication between our neighborhoods, and um, we'll be launching this probably tomorrow. So if there's any questions, I would be happy to answer the questions. Otherwise... The mayor may have Thank some. you, Chad. Is, are there any questions for Chad right now? All right. Well, thank you for your attention. Ready, Sue? Not yet. Okay. David, I think she needs some additional help. Right now, I'd like to take this opportunity to welcome our new fire chief, Mike Romas. The city of Sheboygan welcomes Mike as its new fire chief. Chief Romas started his new position Monday, February 24th. Mike's a Milwaukee native and has served in the Milwaukee Fire Department since 1983, where he has held a number of positions with progressive responsibilities, including that of a firefighter heavy equipment operator, lieutenant, captain, battalion chief, deputy chief, and assistant chief. A lifelong learner, Mike holds an associate degree in fire technology, a bachelor of science degrees in physical education, health education, and fire science management, and also a master of business administration. He's achieved the designation of executive fire officer from the National Fire Academy and fire chief officer with the Center of Public Safety and Excellence and is a longstanding member of the local and national Fire Chiefs Association. Mike, Mike his wife Melanie, will be relocating to Sheboygan. His children, Mike and Elise, are both attending UW-Madison. And as a matter of fact, his son Mike is a trumpet player in the UW band. Uh, and in his spare time, Mike enjoys having been active in the community, attending festivals, plays, and concerts, along with visiting local restaurants and entertaining friends and family. He's enthusiastic and really ready to serve the citizens of Sheboygan. Please welcome Mike Romas.
Thank you, Mayor. I just want to let everyone know that I'm very excited. My family, we've already bought a house up here. We're excited to be here. I'm excited to work for the city of Sheboygan and for the citizens of the city. And um, everything that I've been involved in, I had a, um, I started last week, Monday. Unfortunately, we had a fire death on Tuesday morning. I came back for that. Uh, it was very, very unfortunate. And our prayers and our thoughts go out to the family of that incident. And um, I'm very proud to be the chief here and everything I've seen and uh, heard from everybody um, just really bolsters that and makes that true. Uh, the people I'm working with are unbelievable. They work very hard. They're very dedicated to the citizens in the city of Sheboygan. And um, it's just an amazing place to be. And I can't thank you for the opportunity. Can't thank you enough. Thank you. While Mike's coming in the door and joining our team at Sheboygan, uh, we've got to say goodbye to some people who have been with us for quite a while. Karen Menzer, would you please come forward? Karen uh, was hired at Mead Public Library in February of 1984 as a children's librarian. She earned her master's degree in library science later that year. In February of 2006, she was promoted to a manager of the youth services team. In February of 2013, she became the interim library director for four months while the library board conducted their search for a new library director. Karen has been voted at one time by her, her employees the best boss anyone could have. She's one of the founding members of Sheboygan Children's Book Festival and that's been her dream come true. Karen's convinced many world famous authors and illustrators to come to Sheboygan and collaborate with the John Michael Kohler Art Center, Bookworm Gardens, and the library. The program attracts between four to 5,000 people every year to Sheboygan for a weekend each fall. The 2014 festival authors and illustrators are yet to be publicly announced, but they include another called out winner. Um, and we are amazed each year at the famous names that Karen comes up with to bring to Sheboygan. In retirement, Karen plans to continue volunteering her time to ensure the future generations uh, have access to good literature and spend time, more time with her family and her horses. We look forward to seeing her regularly at Mead Library as she continues to weed the juvenile nonfiction selection and offers her time to do special library programs like the Make and Take a Model Aircraft Home on March 8th. Karen's last day as an employee at Mead was on February 28th. We have a certificate I'd like to read. Yeah, a certificate of appreciation. The city of Sheboygan is honored to present Karen Menzer this certificate in recognition of your 30 years of dedicated service to the city of Sheboygan and Mead Public Library. Karen? Thank you. Thank you. I just want to say that I have truly enjoyed my 30 years here at Mead Public Library and serving the citizens of Sheboygan. Thank you. Wow. And another employee that we have to say goodbye to is Dale Kuhn. Dale, would you please come forward? Dale started with the Department of Public Works in 1977. In 1978, he was promoted to Laborer One. In 1979, Laborer Two. 1980 sanitation operator, and in 2007, he started uh, another position as special service driver and maintenance worker too until his retirement on March 3rd today. Dale is a big fan of Jeff Dunham, the famous ventriloquist and stand-up comedian. All of Dunham's characters have been described as politically incorrect, gratuitously insulting, and ill-tempered. Dale's favorite character is Ahmed, and he's known for imitating Ahmed as he visits some of the city hall offices during his deliveries. But Dale also <laughs> brought many memorable moments to, this, to the employees at DPW during his 37 years of service. And one of the most that his co-workers enjoyed was his, his habit to tell jokes. Almost daily basis, Dale would have a new joke or humorous anecdote to share with his co-workers. Be it rain, shine, or snow, he'd get almost everyone into a laugh or at least crack a smile before they all went on their assigned tasks for the day. Sometimes he may have told that joke many times through that day, and some of us would hear it twice, but you know that none of his coworkers minded because of his genuine desire to make them laugh. Now keep in mind that Dale handled the city's refuse five days a week uh, for most of his career, 
and he's never lost his sense of humor. Now that's a real accomplishment. Yeah. <laughs> Dale, it's an honor to provide you with the Certificate of Appreciation on behalf of the Department of Public Works for working there for over 37 years of service to the city of Sheboygan. And again, the city of Sheboygan is honored to present Dale Kuhn with the Certificate of Appreciation and in recognition of your 37 years of dedicated service, November of 1977 through March of 2014. Dale, thank you very much. First off, I'd like to uh, thank the city of Sheboygan for uh, hiring me back in 1977. Uh, I'm glad I could continue my service with the city of Sheboygan for almost 37 years. I'd also like to thank all my past and present co-workers and management people for their guidance, leadership, and friendship, and I hope I can continue during my retirement, and I'm hoping to spend more time with my family and friends now that I'm retired. Thank you very much. This last week, I had the privilege of attending the Sheboygan County Champion Celebration at Blue Harbor, where Sheboygan County and the City of Sheboygan were a nominee for the Working Together Award in the Sheboygan River Cleanup. Uh, I want to read a little description from the program. After more than 30 years of discussion, the cleanup and dredging of the Sheboygan River was completed in 2013. The city and county leaders and community stakeholders stepped up to gain support and the financial backing to get the job done. There were many challenges throughout this, the course of this dredging project, but parties involved had incredible passion and commitment to see the job through. The $100 million collaborative effort will reduce health threats for people, fish, wildlife, and enhance the economic development opportunities. The river is now 10 feet deeper in some areas. The success of this project will have a lasting effect on Sheboygan and Sheboygan County for many years. On Thursday as mayor, I was proud to accept this award on behalf of the city of Sheboygan. We have a great team here at the city, and everyone played an important support role in this river cleanup. The Common Council approved contracts and appropriated funds. Other departments were involved, were the City Attorney's Office, Finance, Purchasing, DPW, Engineering, the Redevelopment Authority, and Planning Department. The coordination of this effort largely fell on the shoulders of our Director of Planning and Development, Chad Pelichek. <coughs> He was a rock star when it came to the daily coordination between the contractors and the city permitting issues and <laughs> many other issues. He also helped to coordinate open houses. He was truly the go-to guy uh, when any kind of coordination between the city and the contractors and their agencies arose. He coordinated with all the affected neighbors and coordinated the use of 2D watering treatment facilities as well. He worked with the Military Heritage Museum to get office space for the contractors and to utilize the work site uh, for them. Chad attended all the work group meetings, coordinated all the other departments' involvement for a successful project. And I want to recognize him for the exceptional work that he did on the Sheboygan River project by presenting him with the award that the city received from the Chamber of Commerce. Chad, will you please come forward? Thank you. It's, it's, it's really a, a collaborative between a number of city departments. I'll accept it on behalf of the planning department, but um, it really was a huge project, and I appreciate getting uh, acknowledgement over this, and, and I think um, you know, going forward, we're not done with that project. We have some other uh, issues to deal with. One of them is beneficial use impairments that have been put on as part of it. And a matter of fact, next week, EPA will be back in town to start trying to remove, number one, the restriction on dredging. That hasn't been in place for 20-some years. So the project continues, but um, we're seeing some benefits of it and some interest in our river that we haven't in a long mm -hmm. time. And, and I think it's going to be good for the community moving forward. So thank you. Okay, next we have some hearings. Um, so we do these all together. All yeah, we okay. can just read them all. And the first one is uh, 2.1. I'm going to read all the hearings, and then we'll allow anybody to speak on any one of the hearings they would like to. 
2.1 for the vacation and discontinuance of the remaining 40 feet of New York Avenue, the right of way from west line of North Water Street to the east bank of the Sheboygan River. Item 2.2 is to amend the zoning map for property at 1539 North 33rd Place from UR Urban Residential to Class SO Suburban Office. 2.3 is to amend the city zoning map for property located at 1712 North 17th Street from NR6 Residential to UC Urban Commercial. 2.4 is to amend the city zoning map for property located at 1704 North 17th Street from NR6 Neighborhood Residential to UC Urban, Urban Commercial. And 2.5 is to amend the city's zoning map for property located at 1714 Cambridge Avenue from UI Urban Industrial to UC Urban Commercial. Does anyone wish to speak on any of those hearings? Does anyone wish to speak on any of the hearings? Does anyone wish to speak on any of the hearings? Alderman Hammond? Thank you. Uh, move to close the hearings. Second. Move and seconded to close the hearings. Will the clerk please call the roll? Twelve ayes. <clears throat> Motion passes. Next is our consent agenda, items 3.1 through 3.12. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and, uh, accept and file all, all our O's, accept and adopt all our C's, and put all resolutions upon our passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. The consent agenda is before us. Does anyone have anything they'd like to discuss? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll and consent? Twelve ayes. Thank you. Motion passes. Next, we'll go on to reports of officers. That will include items 4.1 through 4.11. Those would be referred. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I would like to poll 4.4 um, for discussion and vote. Okay, is there a second? Second. It's been moved and seconded to poll 4.4 for a separate discussion and vote. Under discussion. Um, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I would like to uh, put, uh, I would like to pass this, um, or uh, put the resolution, or excuse me, what am I talking about here? Um, <laughs> I would like to uh, move that the arrow we put on file. Okay. okay. Accepted. Accepted and placed on file, thank you. Okay, we have a motion and a second to discuss this now and put the uh, RO on file. Is there any uh, discussion on the RO? Alderman Hammond. Thank you. Um, the reason we're pulling this is uh, this is money that uh, the city collects on behalf of the bid, um, and they would like to get this. As many of you know, they're embarking on a master plan and um, need the funds to um, pay for some of the expenses that go along with it um, and prefer not to wait a couple weeks to get it. So this is just a pass-through that we collect for them. So thank you. Thank you for that discussion. Anyone else? Okay, seeing none, we'll call the roll. 12 ayes. Motion passes. And um, item 4.3 will be for, referred to strategic rather than finance, but otherwise all the referrals will be as they are on your agenda. Under resolutions, 5.1 is a resolution by Alderman Hammond authorizing moving the city of Sheboygan wards 22 and 23 for all future elections to Good Shepherd Lutheran Church at 1614 South 23rd Street. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'm going to put the resolution upon its passage. Second. It's been moved and seconded to pass the resolution. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? 12 ayes. Motion passes. Item 5.2 is a resolution by Alderman Vanderweel authorizing the city attorney to hire outside counsel to represent law and licensing and the council for a quasi-judicial hearing regarding the suspension slash revocation of taxi cab driver's license 0235 and authorizing payment for said services. Alderman Vanderweel. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to suspend the rules. Second. Um, that was suspension. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, we'll do a voice vote. All those in favor of suspension signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? That passes. Under suspension. Move that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Then moved and seconded to pass the resolution. Any discussion on the resolution? Seeing none, will the clerk call the roll? 
12 ayes. Motion passes. 5.3 is a resolution by Alderman Heideman authorizing accepting the jurisdictional transfer of County Road LS within the county highway system to become a local city street. Alderman Heideman. Uh, thank you, Mayor. Could we take that with 6-1? Uh, I'd hold that. Yeah, we'll hold that then till 6-1. Thank, thank you. you Okay, then we'll go on to 5-4, uh, which is resolution by Alderman um, Boren, Bellinger, Pentico, Herman, authorizing entering into an agreement with the Midlake Softball Organization, Inc. for operation and management of the Wildwood Softball Complex for the 2014 softball season. Alderman Boren. Thank you, Mayor. I ask for suspension of the rules, please. Okay, uh, all those in favor of suspension, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Under suspension. Under suspension, I would make a motion that the resolution be put upon its passage. Second. Is moved and seconded to put the resolution on its passage. Under discussion, Alderman Hammond. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I just wanted to point out a couple highlights of this that I think um, make it worthy of, of approval. First off, um, there is a clause in here that um, if possible, 20% of this year's gross proceeds would come back to the city to be held for future improvements. I think you know, that's a good direction forward. Secondly, uh, it asked for a financial review of submit, uh, and that submitted to the council. I think that's kind of where we might have gotten off track a little bit. Um, also provides for two reps from the city on the board of directors of MLSO. And then secondly, uh, um, from the finance uh, department, um, asking for a fidelity bond for the treasurer. I think that was a great idea by uh, Director Amodio to, to put that in. So um, I think this is a good agreement and would encourage people to vote for it. Thank you. Thank you for that discussion. Any other discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? 12 ayes. And items 5.5 through 5.7 will be referred to various committees. On to reports of committees. Uh, 6.1 is an RC by Public Works recommending entering into an intergovernmental cooperative agreement between the City of Sheboygan, the Town of Sheboygan, and Sheboygan County for County Road LS relocation. And this will also include the previous item we talked about, 5.3. Alderman Heideman. Okay. Thank you, Mayor. I, uh, and I'm going to make a motion to suspend the rules. Second. All those in favor of suspension signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes under suspension. Okay. I'd like to uh, make a motion to accept and adopt the RC and pass both the res and also pass the resolution. Second. It's been moved and seconded to put the, um, the motion before us. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, please call the roll. Twelve eyes. Next, we'll go on to matters laid over. Item seven point one is an RO number two thirty one of thirteen fourteen by the Planning Commission, recommending amending the zoning map for property located at fifteen thirty nine North thirty third place from UR Urban Residential to SO Suburban Office. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file and put the uh, ordinance upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? 12 ayes. Motion passes. Item 7.2 is RO number 232 of 1314 by the City Planning Commission recommending approving the vacation and discontinuance of the remaining 40 feet of New York Avenue right away from the west line of North Water Street to the east bank of the Sheboygan River. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file and pass the resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on that motion? Seeing none, will the clerk call the roll? 12 ayes. Motion passes. 7.3 is an RO number 250 of 1314 by the City Planning Commission recommending <coughs> approving the change of zoning map of property located at 1714 Cambridge Avenue from UI Urban Industrial to UC Urban Commercial. Alderman Hammond. 
Thank you again, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file and put the ordinance upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. The motion is before us. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? 12 ayes. Motion passes. Item 7.4 is RO 251 of 1314 by the City Planning Commission recommending approving the change of zoning map of the property located at 1704 North 17th Street from NR6 Neighborhood Residential 1 to UC Urban Commercial. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and a file and put the ordinance upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion? <coughs> Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Twelve ayes. Item 7.5 is RO 252 of 1314 by the City Planning Commission recommending approving the change to the zoning map of property located at 1712 North 17th Street from NR6 Neighborhood Residential to UC Urban Commercial. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file and put the ordinance upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. That motion is before you for discussion. See no discussion. Will the clerk please call the roll? 12 ayes. Motion passes. Item 7.6 is RC number 313 of 1314 by the Salary and Grievances Committee recommending amending the municipal code as to add and delete various positions in the police department's table of organization. Alderman Donahue. Thank you, Mayor. I would move to excuse me, accept, adopt, and put this uh, ordinance upon its passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. The ordinance is before us for discussion. Seeing no discussion, will the clerk please call the roll? 12 ayes. Next, we have a closed session on the agenda. Alderman Hammond. We have other matters. Other matters. Hmm? There's other matters. Oh, I'm sorry, we have other matters. City Attorney. Thank you, Your Honor. 8-1 is a resolution to authorize the transfer of appropriations in the 2014 budget. Uh, that will be referred to the Finance Committee. 8.2 is an RO by the City Clerk submitting communication from Attorney Michael Bauer providing documentation regarding initiating proceedings to vacate and discontinue the west 33 feet of a public way in the town of Sheboygan known as North 32nd Street. That will be referred to the City Planning Commission. 8.3 is an RO by the City Clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2014 and June 30, 2015. That will be referred to Law and Licensing. And then Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to convene in closed session of the exemption contained in 19851E Wisconsin statutes for the purpose of deliberating a proposed development project where competitive or bargaining reasons <coughs> require a closed session. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. The clerk will call the roll for closed session. 12 ayes. Motion passes. We'll take a five minute recess and reconvene at uh, about 12 minutes to the hour. Uh.